So how would you simplify the square root of this mixed number? Well, usually we will have to change this into an improper fraction. And to do so, we will have to multiply this and that and then add it to 1. And after that, we take the square root, right? But don't do that. Here's a better way. Let me show you how we can use algebra instead of using a calculator to do this. Firstly, notice that we have 225. And that is a perfect square, which is nice. That's 15 squared. And we love to have square numbers inside of a square root. In fact, we can actually complete the square for this number. Let me show you how. Right here, we have square root. This means we have 223 plus 1 over 225. And for this, let me just write it as 1 over 15 squared. Yep. Now, we have something square at the end, right? And another thing is that notice 223 and 225, they are just off by 2. So, Instead of 223, let's do this. Let me look at this as 225 minus 2. Yeah, because this way I can get a previous square right here. That way I can also get, because this, because this, this way, because, minus 2, because this way I can also get a previous square here. And then minus 2, of course, we can get back to 223. And then after that, of course, we still have the plus, 1 over 15 squared. Now, we have this being a perfect square. It's just 15 squared. And then at the end, we also have a perfect square. So in fact, we can use one of the formulas that we learned from algebra, and that's this one. Okay, if we have a squared minus 2ab, and then at the end, if we have plus b squared, this right here can be factored in, and we get a minus b squared. And that's exactly what will happen right here. So we see that, let's write it, 215, 225 is 15 squared. And then for this middle part, it's minus 2, right? But it looks that we should have a and b. a is 15. B is 1 over 15. Aha! When you multiply 15 and 1 over 15, it's just 1. So this part is still minus 2. And then at the end, we still have that plus 1 over 15 squared, like this. So in fact, the inside, we can just put it together like so. So we have the square root, parentheses, 15 for the A, minus 1 over 15 for the b, and then squared. Now check this out. The inside here, 15 minus 1 over 15 is positive. So if we cancel the square root and the square, we will just get a positive result. Let me just indicate that this right here is greater than 0. So this right here means we have 15 minus 1 over 15. And because we started with a mixed number instead of the square root, I will also end up with a mixed number for you guys. This will give us 14 and 14 over 15. Just like this. And here, let me just do a super quick review. If we have 15 minus 1 over 15, we can look at the 15 as 14 plus 1. And then after that, we have minus 1 over 15. And then this right here is the same as saying, 14 plus this is 15 over 15 and then minus this 1 over 15 and then this two together is 14 over 15 14 plus one of, uh, 14 over 15 is exactly that All right so that's it